ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. This is the ABC 3340 Weather Extreme video. This is for Friday morning, the 29th of August, getting set for a holiday weekend, and all eyes remain on the tropics. And we've got a lot to talk about this morning, so let's get right to it. We'll go to the uh, Skycam images around the ABC 3340 Skycam network, and we'll begin with our Gulf Shores camera. And eyes are nervously watching Gustav on the Alabama Gulf Coast. That's looking west from the top of the Phoenix All Suites. And, you know, we continue to expand the network. We now have sky cams in parts of eastern Mississippi. That is downtown Newton. That is a community about uh, 30 miles west of Meridian, heavily impacted by Ivan and Katrina. And uh, we uh, will be watching those eastern Mississippi cameras, of course, carefully, if indeed Gustav comes up from the south-southwest. And a look at the downtown Birmingham camera this morning. That's looking south from the top of the Daniel Building. Water vapor satellite imagery this morning. Nice trough moving through uh, the Great Lakes. Cold front in advance of that. Hey, September is not that far away, and unfortunately that's going to kind of fizzle out around here, but uh, before you know it, we'll be getting a good front the first of the season. That typically comes in mid to late September, and we always look forward to that. That's when you get readings down in the 40s and 50s at night. But uh, the tropics are the topic. There's our twin systems. Gustav on the left and Hannah on the right, and both are looking pretty good. Outflow seems excellent. And by golly, a good-looking wave is coming off the coast of Africa, out there in the far eastern Atlantic. And we'll have to watch that one as we're now getting in the Cape Verde season. Quite frankly, that one is a little high latitude, and that might be a recurving storm out there. Uh, but again, we'll see. Let's focus on Gustav first. The circulation, of course, has gone right over Jamaica. And uh, we think that now that it's moving away, it becomes a hurricane later today. Right now, it is a strong tropical storm. Where is it going? Well, let's look. Modeling. By golly, this is, now these are the 06Z models. They have shifted to the right. Goodness gracious. Last night, the OZ models shifted to the left. Well, they've jogged back. And, you know, we're going to see that back and forth, back and forth. And, Again, I really think uh, instead of making big changes in what we've outlined here, you know, all along we've said Morgan City to Gulf Shores is the highest probability of landfall, but everybody from Corpus Christi around the Horn to Tampa need to watch this. I think we can chop off areas to the east of Panama City now. So let's kind of make the big area Corpus Christi to Panama City. And we'll keep that smaller area with the higher probabilities, Morgan City to Gulf Shores. And uh, I really think, you know, we, we can maybe fine-tune that over the weekend. But the fact that the models have shifted east means we probably don't need to change what we're saying here. We'll look at some, uh, first off, uh, the wharf, some other models. It shifted to the east. The Hurricane WRF. It brings it right up to Beerus, Louisiana, the mouth of the Mississippi. That would be a major hurricane coming right up on New Orleans. And uh, that could be a pretty ugly scene. And by the way, this is valid uh, uh, at midday Monday. It really speeds it up. Uh, that, and again, that's a change in the timing. You know, we've been talking Monday night or Tuesday morning. Now the wharf brings it right up there to New Orleans at Monday afternoon. Uh, we'll look at the GFDL, and uh, that this is the OZ run, and by golly, that's very problematic for the Alabama Gulf Coast. This thing comes right up on Dauphin Island, and that would mean some real problems for Gulf Shores and all of uh, Alabama's coast. The uh, pressure there, 948 millibars with a wind of 122 knots at that pressure. That's a whopper of a hurricane. So uh, understand last night, you know, you're starting to think, oh, we can breathe a little easier maybe for Gulf Shores because of the jog west. Well, we got the jog back east again this morning. The uh, European, it's jogged back to the west. It, it's got the thing coming in closer to uh, Morgan City or maybe even Cameron, Louisiana. And speaking of the European, let me show you another look at it. You know what that is? That's not Gustav. That's Hannah. <laughs> 
That's 192 hours out there. And, uh, again, the the amazing thing, what it does, it takes Hannah, brings it down through the Florida Straits, curves it back up, and hits New Orleans again. Uh, Brian Peters made that post in the blog yesterday, and uh, uh, that's I'd say that's unlikely, but, you know, who knows? Let's look at the official track from the uh, National Hurricane Center on Gustav. Now, they have not adjusted, really. You know, they jogged it to the west on there uh, last night based on the models at OZ, and they haven't changed much. They've got it coming up toward Morgan City uh, during the day Tuesday, really Tuesday morning. And then continuing moving to the uh, west-northwest over toward uh, Cameron, Louisiana by Tuesday night. If that's the case, that would diminish the threat of wind and rain here. But again, that does not jive up with the OZ model suite or the O60 model suite. And, I, and again, I like the way they do things. You know, they don't just pull things around with every model run because every model run is going to look different. Uh, so again, that's what their thinking is right now. All right, let's look at Hannah. What looks good, doesn't it? Outflow looks excellent. I wouldn't be shocked if this thing ramps up to a, a hurricane soon. Uh, the estimated winds are 50 miles per hour. We'll look at modeling on Hannah, and uh, that's enough to make your head spin. The old spaghetti plot looks like a bowl of spaghetti. Steering currents are going to collapse out there, and, and it's just going to kind of stop east of the Bahamas. And uh, here's the official track from the Hurricane Center. They've got it still east of Nassau Tuesday night and just not moving much at all. And, again, that's going to cause probably a lot of concern for Again, everybody from Key West on up the Horn to Charleston. And really the fact that it's going to slow down will give us a little time to focus on Gustav. We'll deal with that maybe after we get some clarity on Gustav. So let's look at the uh, GFS, the Global Forecast System, Primary American Global Model. This is valid at 1 o'clock today. Level here is 500 millibars, about 18,000 feet off the ground. Uh, we've got that weakness in the ridge over, the, uh, over Florida that maybe we'll pull Gustav a little to the north, big trough up to the uh, north of us, moving over Canada and the Great Lakes, and down below that, a uh, surface front from near Grand Rapids, Michigan, down to about Little Rock. Not much on that, a uh, very inactive front. Tomorrow, front kind of gets down to Nashville and starts to dissipate. And around here, we should stay pretty dry today and tomorrow. Any shower should be isolated. Gustav Saturday coming up to the Yucatan Channel. Sunday, Gustav is in the Gulf. We are dry. Monday, oh boy, Gustav is coming up toward uh, the Mississippi Gulf Coast. This is 1 o'clock Monday, and then Tuesday it comes up into the Gulf Coast of Mississippi and Alabama, right there almost at Pascagoula. And again, this is a shift back to the east, to the right. And that's very, very bad news if this model happens to be correct, but it's just a model output. Remember, the storm is going to do what it's going to do. It doesn't read these maps like we do. And then look at this Wednesday. The, the GFS stalls the thing right around, uh, again, the Mississippi Gulf Coast. And, uh, boy, if that stalls, we would have rains of biblical proportion and real problems on the Gulf Coast. Thursday, it begins to drift back to the southwest, and then Friday, it just kind of drifts west. So, again, the GFS has been persistent on the idea, but where the stall happens and where it drifts to the southwest, it's, it changes from run to run. And let's quickly look at the end of the cycle. This is on the uh, 13th of September. We're just peaking out here. You know, there's no skill, but we another nice-looking trough up there over the north, and there's some really nice cold air that'll be ultimately pulled down sometime in September. Get that good first front of the season. That's always fun. Uh, so that's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog. And again, we encourage you to read along with us throughout the day, alabamawx.com. We have frequent running updates over there. And of course, some of you are watching this video on the blog now, but many of you are not. You're watching this on YouTube or iTunes. Uh, the next video here by 3.30 today. And of course, we invite you to watch us on television if you're in Alabama on ABC 3340 News at 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. And thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day and God bless.